In today's video, I'm going to go through four secrets that I used when it came to making my first $10,000, $100,000 and $200,000 with one of my first ever dropshipping Shopify stores. The same things that I'm going to go through in this video is definitely going to help you achieve $100 per day if you're a complete beginner. And if you're new to this channel and you've never seen my face before and you're thinking, who is this guy and why should I listen to him? Well, welcome. My name is Sam. And so far on this channel, I've made over 500 different videos helping people when it comes to making money online. But most importantly, I was able to quit my to five job, travel the world to various different locations while still being able to make a passive income from my dropshipping businesses. So I definitely know a thing or two that's going to help you out. So make sure if you enjoy any part of this video, you press the like button. I really appreciate that. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell notification. Let's get right into the video. All right. So one of the first things that I learned in the early days that allowed me to get to the point of making $100 per day with my dropshipping business is building up credibility. And when I say credibility, this is where a visitor or a potential customer is going to land on your webpage and automatically you're going to do certain things and make sure that things are in place so that you look like someone that's worth buying from. And there's so many different things that I've personally done with all of my dropshipping businesses over the years to build credibility. But one of the first things that I did is associate my dropshipping website with Google. And there's certain things that you can do when it comes to using Google's reputation so that you can psychologically convince any potential customer that your website that's worth buying from. Now, one of the first things that I did was use Google Shopping Ads. So the way that Google Shopping Ads work, if you're not aware, is that a customer will go into Google, they'll type in whatever item they're searching for. So for example, I've typed in hair shaver in this case and what the customer is going to do from this point is just scroll through and look at all of these different head shavers that are currently available for them to buy. So around 80% of customers that are scrolling through all of these different items are going to automatically assume that for you to be on Google's shopping page that you must be a credible website that's worth buying from. And I can honestly say that this is what helped me get to my first $100,000 in revenue was by using Google shopping ads because most customers will see your product being advertised from there. They're going to click into your website and automatically have a high level of trust because you have to also remember that the customer does have the intention to buy the product as well. So that paired with the fact that you're on Google shopping page is going to automatically put the customer in a position to want to bring out their credit card. But of course, there is going to be multiple different options for the potential customer to choose from. And that's why you need to be aware of some other ways that you can build credibility. So if I just click into this website over here, there's certain things that this store has done that I also do with my Shopify stores when it comes to gaining the trust of the customer. And one of the first things is by making sure that I've got all of the reviews clearly laid out on the product page. So this store is using the normal generic Shopify app when it comes to presenting their reviews. And I could tell that they're doing this if I was to scroll down to the bottom. So to my knowledge, majority of these reviews are not necessarily from a credible review website. Now, the one that I like to use with all of my Shopify stores is Trustpilot. I'm sure that most of you have heard of them. They're not necessarily cheap. It costs me around 100, maybe $150 every single month for me to use their services. But the reason why I like to use Trustpilot is because most customers that land on my webpage that see that I've got a verified Trustpilot account, they're going to be able to go through all of my previous customers' reviews and see exactly what they said about the product that they're thinking about buying. And because Trustpilot has built up their reputation of being a legitimate review company, this is what has also helped me to generate more sales and make more profit. So the main point that I'm trying to make of all of this is that if you focus on building up your credibility, you're going to be in a position where you're going to be able to easily convert all the visitors that come across your website because by the time they've gone onto Google, they've typed in the keyword of the item that they're searching to buy, they see your product on the Google shopping page. From there, they click into it. They see that you've got reviews. Nine times out of 10, the customer is going to bring their credit card out and buy the product from you. All right. So moving on to the second drop shipping secret that I see so many different beginners neglecting, which is the fact that they don't take advantage of different promotional periods. Now, when I say promotional periods, this is things like Black Friday, Boxing Day sales, New Year sales. So for me personally, I like to make sure that I'm taking advantage of all of those different major promotional periods so that I'm able to increase my revenue. But at the same time, I also like to make sure that I'm sending out various different offers and discounts randomly throughout the week. And this is why it's very important that from the moment that you start your Shopify website or any online business for that matter, that you start collecting emails straight away. It's very, very important and it's going to help you increase your revenue and also help you get to the goal of making your $100 per day and more. Like for example, if I jump into one of my e-commerce MailChimp accounts, as you guys can see over here, the email was sent out to around 5,000 different people. Around 1,000 people opened up the email, 93 different people clicked on the email and scrolling down over here we can see that I was able to get around 32 different orders that allowed me to bring in around 886 pounds just on one day. So this right here is definitely a game changer for anyone out there that's looking to make money with a dropshipping website. As long 
long as you've been building up an email list from people that have either bought from you already or people that have just landed on your product page and haven't necessarily bought anything from there you're going to be able to build up an email list and be able to contact those people any time of the day whenever you want to and be able to generate revenues just like this and bear in mind that this email that you can see right here that was able to generate all the sales was sent out on a random friday it wasn't even on a black friday or a big major holiday so it's very important to remember that email marketing is an important skill to learn if you want to be in a position to make $100 or more with your dropshipping business so moving on to the third dropshipping secret is that you want to make sure that you're not competing on just price alone one mistake that I see a lot of beginners making is that they feel like they need to reduce their price down to the bare minimum to the point where they're not even making any profit just for them to compete with all of the different other sellers that are selling the exact same item but one thing that I noticed when it came to building up my first ever dropshipping website is that there's so many different ways that you're going to be able to compete and price is just one of them like for example you can compete when it comes to having a longer return policy because so many customers in this day and age want to know that they've got enough time for them to send the item back if they're unhappy so what most customers tend to do is they'll go onto your home page or your product page scroll down to the bottom click on your return policy and see exactly how long they've got when it comes to using the item and then deciding to return it if they're unhappy so for my stores i offer around 60 day return policy so that customers have two months for them to to use the item if they're unhappy with it they can send it back now of course you need to look at your own situation and see how long you actually have when it comes to what your supplier or what your manufacturer says in terms of how long you can send it back to them another way that you can compete other than price is by branding your store around the items that you're selling so you may have come across a winning product that you might want to sell yourself and you may have also seen another store that's selling the exact same product for a cheap price and because of that you feel the pressure to also sell the item at a cheap price as well but you need to check and see if that store has even branded themselves around the category or the products that they're selling because if they haven't you're going to be able to now build a store make sure that your logo your store name your domain all centers around that particular item which is now going to put you in a position where you can ask for more money because most people would rather spend more money on someone that they believe is going to give them the highest quality and branding yourself as an expert or branding yourself as a specialist for the item is a way for you to put yourself in that high position like for example i came across this store right here and they sell various different electrical plugs and travel adapters shaver adapters power strips just various different electrical items now this store is definitely doing well don't get me wrong they're getting thousands of different orders per month based on the amount of visitors that they're getting but at the same time they haven't really branded themselves around the category that they're focused on because if we look at their logo Tessan and the name of their store it doesn't really relate to these type of products so even though they're doing really well and majority of their products come from one category you're going to be able to compete with them if you was to center your entire brand around these type of products like for example if you was to buy a domain along the lines of electricalexperts.com or electricalprofessionals.com i think you kind of get what i mean and then get a logo that is centered around these type of products whenever a customer lands on your page and this page they may buy from you rather than them now i'm not saying that's a guarantee but this is another way that you're going to be able to compete other than price and plus you have to remember as well that not every single customer wants to buy the cheapest priced item out there because it all depends on what products you're even selling like for example if you was selling electrical items just like this there's going to be so many customers that would rather buy a little bit more expensive item because they wouldn't necessarily want to buy the cheapest electrical item because that could be dangerous so these are the things that you need to think about when it comes time for you to price your items don't go straight for the cheapest price try and price your items accordingly to the point where you're making a decent amount of profit but also remember that you're going to be able to compete in so many other ways all right so moving on to the fourth and final dropshipping secret that i'm going to talk about in this video that i don't really hear that many people talking about is using free traffic sources and of course people do talk about using free traffic methods when it comes to getting people onto your website but the ways that I've used over the years I don't really hear people talking about them for example using blogs if you wasn't aware you can actually log into your Shopify account and create blogs every day every so often however often that you want to you're going to be able to write various different articles related to the type of items that you're selling and the reason why this is so powerful is because number one it's going to be free for you to do you're going to be able to write the blog articles yourself if you are good at writing or you can find some one on Upwork to do it for fairly cheap and number two you're going to be able to rank on Google for various different keywords and questions that people are typing in from there they're going to be able to read through your blog article and then you're going to be able to now direct them to your Shopify website for them to buy the products that you already know that they're interested in and this is just one of the free traffic methods that I've used over the years there's so many others I actually made a video about a week ago going through so many other ways that you guys can get people onto your website for free without having to pay any money if you want to watch that video in detail 
show you can click the link right there make sure you check that video out straight after this one because it's already helped out a lot of people or if you rather watch a free webinar where i go through my story and what i had to do when it came to making my first one thousand dollars in profit from my first shopify website then click the first link in the description down below all right guys i'll see you on the next one make sure you stay safe out there peace